See right there. Yeah. What a crowd! Yeah. Welcome, friends, fellow players, members of the BHS community, yeah. Burlington Fire Department, and Burlington Police Department, and Burlington Mayor. Thank you all for coming today. We're grateful that Alona's schedule allowed that, her to be here today. She has very, very <laughs> short time as she can be with us, so we're going to move things right along. And first, I'd like to introduce Larry Salt of the Burlington Concert Band, who will play our national anthem. So everyone, please stay standing. Thank you very much, Larry. Larry, just inform me that the Burlington Concert Band will be celebrating their 175th birthday next year. So I think we're all coming back next year for some cake again, right, Larry? Yeah. Can we do that? We'll get our program started. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the mayor of Burlington. Won't you please welcome Mayor Emma Mulvaney Stanek? Thank you. All right, good morning, Burlington. How are you all feeling? You know, I've told my staff in these early months of being the new mayor of Burlington that I needed more free cone days. Ben and Jerry's does free cone days. It was about a week into my mayorship. I think this is my new free cone day. This is so amazing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so Burlington, what a special day this is. How often do we get to meet an Olympian and hear the mayor's middle school band teacher <laughs> perform the national anthem? Thank you, Mr. Salt, for a wonderful performance and an amazing educator. Ileona, I want to welcome you to back to Burlington and thank you, yes, say it, and your family for making time for this joyful homecoming celebration. I also want to thank the teams at the Burlington School District, Burlington Parks, the Recreation and Waterfront, former City Councilor Dave Hartnett, current City Councilor Mark Barlow, and others for helping to pull off this amazing and special event. The Seahorse Pride is shining this morning. <laughs> Today, all of us here in Burlington and in Vermont are lucky enough to celebrate with you, Iona, and recognize your dedication and perseverance from the sport fields of BHS to the rugby pitches. By the way, my wife is a rugby player and she's so jealous she can't be here today. I'm like, this political job does have perks. I swear to God, it does. And she's like, oh, anyway. So to the rugby pitches at Norwich, Univer at Norwich University in Quinnipiac and to the US Women's National Rugby Sevens team. to Tokyo and now returning from Paris, an Olympic bronze medalist. Yeah. 
Your achievements on the rugby pitch are a reflection of your hard work and resilience, and it was truly a joy. And I even watched. I'm not a big athlete person, but like I watched you play every time in Paris. It was really amazing. I have to do this too because you know that's the thing. The, like the straight arm. I mean, it was so badass. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Um, I also want to recognize your impact off the pitch, your openness and vulnerability on social media. <laughs> your willingness to use those platforms to create positive change. This is especially true with how you talk about body image. You make sure your followers, your fans, and the media knows that bodies come in all shapes and sizes regardless of gender identity or ability. And as a woman and a mom serving an elected office, and the first woman and first LGBTQ plus person, out person, as mayor of the city of Burlington in the history of this city, I, <laughs> thank you. I know, because I've been subjected to my own share of vitriol on social media, and I so appreciate your realness and the fact that you never let the, let the haters dull your shine, seriously. <laughs> You are part of the change we need from leaders to, to send the right healthy me messages to all of our young people. Yeah. So Iona, you are an inspiration for so many young athletes and a role model for all of us. I wanna congratulate you on this achievement, welcome you home to Burlington, and wish you well with whatever is next. And I hope you get some well-earned rest soon. And I'll close by wishing you a happy belated birthday as a... <laughs> as a fellow Leo, obviously, probably. Um, I hope you're celebrating for the entire rest of the month. You deserve it. Thank you so much. And let's hear it. Thank you, Mayor. If we can ask uh, some of the people in the front if they could just kind of crouch down or maybe sit down if you could. I know some of the people in the back are having a hard time seeing. Whatever you can do, just uh, if you could do that. What a thrill it must be for a coach to see one of their players achieve such excellence. And today we are going to meet that coach. Won't you please welcome Allison Archaki, VHS coach. Did I get your name right? All right. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Uh, welcome. I'm honored to be here to, uh, today to speak at this celebration. My name is Allison Artaki, educator and former field hockey coach at Burlington High School. We gather here today to honor an extraordinary individual, a woman whose journey to the pinnacle of athletic success is as inspiring as it is remarkable. Please join me in celebrating the phenomenal Ilona Amar, our 2024 bronze medal winning Olympian. <laughs> From the BHS fields of high school to the world stage of Olympics, Ilona's story is one of unwavering dedication, unrelenting perseverance, and an authentic passion for her sport that shines like a beacon for all to see. This is not just the tale of an athlete turned pro, it's the chronicle of a young woman who embodies the very essence of strength, physical and mental. I was informed by one of her high school classmates that Ilona was awarded the senior superlative for most likely to go pro, and that she did. <laughs> Ilona is more than a medalist. She is a force of nature, a powerhouse of positivity and influence. Her presence on the pitch is a testament to the power of believing in oneself, of embracing one's authentic self, and of championing body positivity in a world that often seeks to confine and conform. As we celebrate Alona's bronze medal, let us also honor the journey that brought her to this moment. The early morning training sessions, the endless drills, the sweat, the tears, the triumphs, and the setbacks have all culminated in this glorious achievement. And yet, we know that for Ilona, this is not the destination, but a milestone on a path paved with determination and lit by fire of her unwavering spirit. She's not done yet. <laughs> Ilona Barr, you are a star, 
not just for your phenomenal prowess on the rugby field, but for the light you shine as a role model for young athletes everywhere. Your influence extends far beyond the boundaries of your sport, inspiring countless individuals to embrace their strength, celebrate their individuality, and chase their dreams with unrelenting passion. As we stand here today basking in the glow of your Olympic bronze, We celebrate not just the medal, but the power of authenticity, the beauty of body positivity, and the indomitable strength of a woman who has proven that with unwavering belief in oneself, there is no height unattainable and no challenge insurmountable. So let us raise our voices, our hearts, and our cheers for Ilona Marr, our phenomenal Olympian, our beacon of strength, our shining star. May your journey continue to inspire, your spirit continue to soar, and your influence forever be the catalyst of a generation of athletes to come. Thank you. A lot of work went into putting this event together today in very, very short time. So we'd like to thank uh, specifically those families that helped to put this together. Peter and Beth Barenberg, Mark and Kelly Barlow, Kathleen and Tex Lynch, Jeff and Sally Hayes, and David and Lisa Hartnett. Let's give them a nice round of applause, please. And with that, I would like to now invite Kathleen Lynch to the podium. Kathleen. Wow, <laughs> what a beautiful morning in Burlington. Good morning to the Mars, to friends and neighbors. This is a day of great joy and pride to celebrate Ilona, her Olympic success, and to recognize her beautiful family. While it was a thrill to watch you compete in the Paris Olympics, I felt an added excitement in seeing your family cheering you on in the stands, just as they always did here in Burlington. They would travel in all kinds of Vermont weather to huddle on the sidelines and shout from the stands of countless gymnasiums to ensure that you had support from home. I know home is the most important aspect of our personal foundation in life. And you, Alona, Olivia, and Adriana have been blessed with the best. <laughs> I had the unique privilege of first meeting Minica when she calmly and professionally assisted in the safe delivery of our daughter Brennan. <laughs> She's 29 now, and she and Olivia became BHS classmates. I consider Minica to be one of UVMMC's finest RNs. <laughs> She is a cherished colleague, giving her compassionate care to our ED and labor and delivery patients. I felt great pride to learn Ilona had chosen nursing for her undergrad studies. It is a profession that will reap a lifetime of rewards. On behalf of your New North End neighbors and BHS parents, I want to thank you, Mike and Minica, for raising strong, caring, intelligent women. Every BHS event was better with both of you present. I have a couple of gifts to present to you and your family. The Vermont Flannel Company has donated their Liberty Pattern Stadium Blanket for you. <laughs> It is presented to you as a reminder of your Vermont roots. And Dakin Farm of Vermont wants you to enjoy. <laughs> they want you to. <laughs> they want you to enjoy a Vermont breakfast at home on Woodlawn Road before you hit return to your training with the US Rugby Sevens. Go Alona. Yeah. 
Won't you please welcome Jeff Hayes, BHS Athletic Coordinator, and Tom Flanagan, Burlington School District Superintendent. <laughs> welcome to the stage. All right. Thank you very much. Great to see you all out here this morning. This is a great example of why Burlington and Vermont is such a beautiful place. The community coming together, I just feel the energy. Uh, so thank you for being here. A shout out to our, our young people, our young athletes sitting in front of us here watching all this go down. All right, so as Charlie said, I'm Tom Flanagan. I'm the superintendent of the Burlington School District and I'm joined here by Jeff Hayes, our district's athletic coordinator. Alona, it's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome home. You've made your city, family, teachers, and coaches so proud. Your kindness, sense of humor, and work ethic are great examples that we can all look up to. As an Olympic athlete, that work ethic means, re means remaining dedicated to your craft, physical health, and your training, no matter what even when you come home for family visits. <laughs> Teachers and coaches don't stop caring about students when they graduate. We love to watch you continue to grow, learn, and achieve. That is true here, and I know that over the past 10 years, you have reached out to Jeff several times for support in instances where you're home, where you were home and just needed to focus on your craft. In the past few weeks, Jeff has told just about anyone who will listen <laughs> how much how much he loved the opportunity to connect and help just a little bit. It is what educators live for, and as a result, you have had the ability to use your old stomping grounds to pursue your dreams. And on behalf of the Burlington Board of School Commissioners and all of us in the Burlington School District, a lot of teachers and educators and families out there, thank you for being here. Uh, we want to show how proud we are to host you on our fields and how happy we are that you continue to call when you come home. Jeff, would you please present Burlingtonian and 2024 Olympic medalist Alona Marr with the keys to the BHS field. This better be real. Is this real? real. Okay. It works. Well, I actually... It, it gets you. Okay, So get ready, straight from Paris, France, and late night with Seth Meyers, where I actually found out we have something in common. Now, people that know me know that I am not an athlete, but when it comes to food, I love food, and I found out that you love cabbage cheese and Meyers wood-fired bagels, yeah! <laughs> So won't you please welcome USA Women's Rugby Sevens Bronze Medalist and Burlington's own Elona Marr. Give it up! Um, just a question. Does this now get me a Ben and Jerry's flavor or... Who do I talk to? Is Ben, Jerry, you out there? Um, I just kind of wrote random notes, so it might not make any sense. <laughs> um, but you know, this is the, the land that raised me. This is the place that shaped me into the athlete, the person I am today. Um, starting out at Letty over there, where uh, I did softball, did all the sports, soccer, whatever it was. Um, we got some softball players. There it is. Um, and one of the stories I always tell is that Letty, I was pitching, and I was, I've always been a very fast pitcher, and I was pitching, and a dad on the other team was like, hey, tell your daughter to tell her to slow her pitches down because none of the girls could hit it. And, and my dad was like, he pulled out the rule book and said, uh, this is a fast pitch lead. She's going to throw the ball as fast as, I, as she can. And that from there, that truly, really, there it is. And that was the first moment where I was told to never tone it down, no matter what people tell me. Um, St. Joe's over there. Um, <laughs> there we go, yeah, so 
<laughs> St. Joe's over there is where I was also, you know, shaped in the person. I graduated in a class of nine there. A little socially awkward. We got through that. Um, but there was where I, you know, played basketball, and I met one of my gr the best basketball coaches, rest in peace, uh, Jeff Rockwood. And I remember being on the sideline there, and he told me a quote, respect all, fear none. And that's a quote that I remember every day whenever I play. I'm going to respect my teammate, respect everybody. I respect the best players in the world, but I'll never fear them. And I still remember vividly being on that line, hearing him say that. And he shaped me really much into the athlete I am today. So for Jeff Rockwood, thank you so much. <laughs> um, I played at Hunt Middle School where I went as a weird Catholic school girl <laughs> and, I, and would go to play field hockey and softball there and that shaped me in a way as well, you know? And then next up, Burlington High School, I think really, again, created, you know, helped me to, to grow into this. I played field hockey, basketball, softball, and it was really sports that gave me that love of my body and showed me what I could do with it. And I got to connect with so many people, so many friends there. I see the, the field hockey team here. Um, hey! I used to be pretty good, ask, ask Coach Archaki. <laughs> um, and I'd just like to thank all my coaches, because I've always had, I think coaches for me are, um, when you become my coach, you become somebody I really look up to and I look to for guidance. So Allison Archaki, Wayne Lafley, um, Austin Hall, Wayne Pico, I've had a lot of coaches, so if I missed any out there, sorry about that. Um, but coaches really have defined me and shaped me, so thank you to Coach Archaki for continuing to do that with you if she's not anymore. Oh, uh, no. She's not shaping anymore. She's done with that. She's done molding the youth of today. Um, so, you know, they shape me, but just sports in general. Um, as, as a small state like ours, I think sometimes they doubt us. They doubt our athletic ability. They doubt how great we can be, where we can go with our athletics. Um, but I think I always knew, and I think my family and, and probably my coaches always knew that I, I could be something great in sports. So I think just to remember, like, doesn't matter what small state you're from. You're from a, a small school out in Vermont or whatever, North County. Who goes to North County? But um, we're out there. You know, there's still you can you have the power to be great and you have the power to decide your own future and your athletic ability and, and whatever you want to do it doesn't matter where you're from you can truly rise this occasion and honestly I was so shocked because as we were driving down the road I was passing by cars and I'm like they don't know who I am <laughs> but I'll start waving at them but then to pull in here and to see all of you I mean Burlington is I call it the big city you know it's the big city of Vermont but it's also a very small town feel and to see all of you out here um, means so much and at the airport means so, so much to me because it is it's special to be from a place like this, a town like this, uh, to be, have so many people here who, to come back to a place that feels so safe and welcoming um, really makes it um, good for me in my athletic career and a place to be secure. Um, let's see, hold on. Mm, okay, <laughs> so I just wanted to leave you with some advice, I think for maybe for the young boys and girls here, for the high schoolers as well. Um, I think what maybe what I've, how I've had my success, success is just being myself, being authentically myself. And I have been told many times to, you know, tone it down, or you're taking up too much space, you're being too loud. And I remember it always, oh man, that's, that's tough like, to hear, but I didn't listen. I think because I had a support system like these guys behind me who be, told me to never tone it down, to so always myself. That got me to where I am today, being authentically. And I always say it's so much easier to be yourself than it is to be anybody else. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think try new things, whether it's rugby at 23. Uh, I have a teammate who didn't start rugby until she's 23 and is now a dual Olympian, a dual medalist. Whether it's, I don't know, musical theater. I don't know. Let's start playing a, a trumpet. Is that a trumpet, sir? Start playing a trumpet. At, you know, it's never too late to try things, to learn things, and it could change the trajectory of your life. Um, when I was debating, at BHS, I was debating whether or not to um, continue playing softball. I was like, you know, Olivia had stopped playing, and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to play this year. So my dad was like, well, here, you can get caught in this state of inertia and just keep doing the same thing you're doing. And I made that change and played rugby just for a season at South Burlington. And I mean, look at how it's changed my life. So if you're if you're in a situation that you don't like, it's uncomfortable, you want to try something new, go do it, because it will change your life and it'll change how what you can do. I mean, I am now a bronze medalist because I made one change at high school. Um, 
my my big thing this year before the Olympics was um, everyone you know it talks about the Olympics being the most amazing thing. It's going to be the best time of your life. It's going to be so cool. Uh, you're going to remember it forever. But for me, it was most important to enjoy the moments before the Olympics. The Olympics are great, but it's all the moments in between our lives, the big events we have, the small moments. For me, it was the bus rides with my teammates, the laughs in the locker room, the getting to just practice together. I think sometimes we want to fast forward, and that's always me. Fast forward to the big moments we have, but take time to enjoy these small moments. And I think really cherish them because we'll get there. You'll get there to those big moments, but it's the small moments now with here tonight, tomorrow morning that are really important and that's what makes up your life. Um, my last thing, I think I've said it a lot, but just, you know, never tone it down and um, say a big F you to anybody who tells you to do that. And um, thank you so, so much for the support. I didn't expect any of this, so thank you guys so, so much. Bye. Thanks again to everyone for coming out this morning. Thank you to Alana and her family for sharing her with us today. And we're going to invite everybody to come up. And we'll invite the, Alana, of course, to, to cut the first slice of cake. We have cake and cupcakes from Madeline's Bakery. Please come on down. Enjoy cake and cupcakes. And you can meet Alana. Thank you all for joining us today. Congratulations, Alona. It is such an honor to get to be here today to celebrate this incredible uh, uh, celebration of your return to uh, Burlington, Vermont with your bronze medal from the Paris Olympics. Hi, my name's Pelican. My favorite part of the speech, the most meaningful thing to me, was that I really like the concept of don't let people smother who you are and keep trying new things. What a great event we, that we can uh, honor Ilona Mar here today. I'm really, I'm really glad that the weather cooperated. We had a great turnout here today, um, and it was just an, a really fun, joyous event. I was so excited to see Alona get to this point and to see her whole family here today supporting her because I know she and Olivia were an inspiration to my son when he played BHS baseball and Alona and Olivia were on the softball team and they would all take the bus to away games like St. Albans and we'd have the opportunity to go up and watch the girls softball team and see Alona and Olivia play before watching the boys and you could watch the whole boys team with with their eyes glued to the field, watching these two powerful athletes smear the other team. And it was just such a such a great memory that just represents everything Burlington is about. Just like kind of mutual respect and community and excitement and inspiration. And I feel like that all came back today because of Alona and her family. Hi, I didn't know I her. I'm in school in Phoenix and see my friend Tira Faha, and Miss Joan, and Miss Joan, he news, he happy. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm at the homecoming for yeah <laughs> here. Um, hi, I'm Ren. I'm Ren, her sister, <laughs> and I'm here at this awesome event. Um, hi, I'm Juno. Um, I'm here um, um, with the Olympic player, and um, these are my friends. Hi, I'm Ada, and I'm just happy to be here. Okay. So, did you guys get any cake? Yes, I got a cupcake. I got a cupcake, too. Definitely. Cupcake. Did you get to touch the medal? Uh, no. No, not yet. We're really hoping to, though. Okay. No, not yet. I got I got my um, notebook signed. Oh. Did you get an autograph? Yeah, she got an autograph, too. I got my... Here. I got my headband signed. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Um, I haven't gotten anything signed yet, but I'm hoping to. So. I haven't gotten anything signed either. It was really cool to come see Alona, especially as young girls. She's such an inspiration, and it's, um, it's really awesome to have someone like that to look up to from our hometown. So that was really cool. My name is Jack. said hi. Here you go. Um, my name is Oscar and I had a picture with a bronze medalist. I had, my name is Milo and I had a cupcake and I had a picture with a bronze medalist. I got to touch the medal and meet Alana and shake her hand. I got to shake her hand. Oh, and awful. This is amazing. What you saw here today was a very special place here in Burlington and people coming together and, and, and celebrating not, not a, you know, a bronze medal winner for sure and a rugby player, but uh, an individual that has put our city on the map and has been role models for young girls and boys throughout the world, just not in the United States. And so to be here, to be a part of it, um, it was something special. The turnout was great. As everyone can see, she's got the line signing autographs over here still. And uh, we were just very fortunate. We had a very short window to put this event on. Uh, we planned a much bigger uh, celebration in late September, but uh, her her schedule did not allow that. We had a short window, and that was uh, today, and um, it, we pulled it off. And I just want to thank all the volunteers because they were many that helped uh, put this on. Hi, I'm Iris. I'm in Battery Park uh, celebrating Alona Mar, our Olympic bronze medalist. Um, it is so amazing to see one of our own do amazing things in the world, and someone couldn't deserve it more than she does. <laughs> Thanks for being so positive. Um, I've known your family for a little while and you just are lucky to be blessed with such a wonderful group of people. A lot of support and love from the community on a day like today is, is something that is, it makes people feel good. It makes people positive. And it, thank you so much. Take care. It's awesome here seeing Lana being represented in her hometown. Um, we're representing the Connecticut Mars here, celebrating her success in Paris. I'm happy we could be here to attend. Hey, no, no. So proud of you. So glad to witness it in person. And uh, you just keep being you. Love you, love you, love you. I'm Adriana Marr, Alona Marr's sister, and I am just so incredibly proud of her, proud of you, Alona, if you're watching. This has been the time of my life, cheering you on in Paris and just seeing how you've taken the sport of rugby and raised it and have been raising and encouraging women all along the way. It has been such a blessing to be your sister, and I love you, and Burlington also loves you in Vermont. Hi, I am Olivia Marr. I am Alona Marr's oldest sister, and we are here today at Battery Park celebrating her and her bronze medal, bringing it back to Burlington, Vermont, the hometown. I am just so proud of her for everything that she's doing for women and body positivity and confidence and just women's sports in general and just overall being an unreal role model for women all over the world in America and right here in the good old hometown. Hi, this is Mike Marr. I'm at the celebration, the tail end of the celebration for my daughter here at historic Battery Park in Burlington, Vermont. Battery Park was described by Edgar Allan Poe as more beautiful than Corsica by the sea, and today it is fantastic. Uh, Lona was honored for her uh, medal at the Olympics, and then she spoke very well, and now she is meeting her fans and uh, taking selfies. And it's just a fantastic day here in Burlington. Thank you.